Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? My name is Jay with Christian Recovery and Hope and Faith today, and let's today have a chat about recovery. What is recovery? Well, the English language puts it like this. The act or process of becoming healthy after an injury or illness. The act or process of recovering. The act or process of returning to a normal state after a period of difficulty. The return of something that has been lost, stolen, etc. What have you lost or what has been stolen from you? Maybe, maybe it's something as simple as, you know, money or um, a car or a job has been stolen from you or something like that. But maybe it's your joy and peace in life that's been stolen from you. And who stole that from you? We didn't give it up willingly. It was it was stolen by by somebody or by something. We know the devil plays havoc in our lives constantly, and he's trying to steal the joy from our lives. So, what is what can recovery do for us to return back what we have lost? You see, the Lord says that He will return to us what was stolen multiple times over. But we have to give our lives and our wills over to the care of God. We can't do it on our own. And when we fight it, when we fight recovery, when we fight uh, God, when we fight Jesus Christ, when we fight recovery, we continue to have joy, peace, love, friendships, life stolen from us. You can have that life back if you give in to recovery. There's many recovery programs out there. I'm not saying that that a Christ-based recovery program is right for you. I, I hope that it is because I believe that Jesus Christ has the power to save. But maybe that's not right for you at this moment. The most important thing for you is that you get well. And how do you get well? Through accountability partners, through sponsors, through um rehab through whatever it takes to get healthy and maybe you're not suffering from an alcohol or drug abuse addiction or prescription drug abuse addiction or illegal drug abuse addiction but maybe you're struggling with something in your life that's outside of those maybe it's i'm depend i'm relationship addiction dependent maybe i always have to be with somebody or maybe it's something like Anger or frustration or sexual or um, mental abuse or child abuse or physical abuse or something took that joy and peace from you. There's so many issues. I can't go into every single one of them in this video. Maybe, maybe that's something I should do in a future video is just go through different parts of what are um, specific issues. And if that's something you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I'd be glad to do it. But how do we get through recovery? Or what, what do we need to do when we figure out that we're struggling? You see, we could be in complete oblivion, lost to self, lost to addiction. And, and the game, like I said, the addiction doesn't have to be drug or alcohol related. It could be gaming addiction. It could be gambling addiction. It could be sexual addiction. There's many addictions out there. So which one has a hold of you? Which one are you ready to let go of? We have to shut those out of our lives. We have to move into a different location. And the first step is to admit that I have a problem. Step out of your denial. Step out of what it is that is holding you back from being everything you can be. I've seen lives change. I've watched lives change. My life has changed through recovery. No, I wasn't alcohol and, and drug dependent or, or addicted. I had other issues. But recovery showed me a way that I could be healthy that I could be, that I could find hope, and that I could find Jesus Christ through the Bible, through God, through 
uh, other people, but I could see Jesus Christ in other people. You know, you may be overwhelmed right now. You may be struggling with, oh, this is too much. I can't deal with it. And if you feel that way, you're not wrong. You can't deal with it on your own. You have to allow other people to help you out. And you have to allow Jesus Christ into your life to help you out. If you try to do it on your own, it won't work. It'll fail. And you'll end up right back, if not worse, than where you are right now. But there's a path forward. There's a pathway out of it. There's a way to be able to move out of being overwhelmed, shut down, and out of that state of oblivion into a a way to cope with your issues, a way to move forward and finally move into that calm state of peace and joy that you've been longing for. Don't just take my word for it. Do your research on this. Look to other groups. Look to other people. And like I always do, there is a, a link to a recovery program in my description. So if you have something that you feel like you want to do or something that you feel like you should do or you know somebody that needs recovery, send them this video. Let them watch it because there's a pathway to peace through Jesus Christ, through recovery. Y'all be blessed. I hope you have a great evening or a great day or whatever time period it is you're watching this. But be blessed and I'll see you on the next one.